Item number, SCP-728. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-728 is to be kept within a class four containment vault at sector to date. The item has shown no activity to warrant anything other than standard security procedures to prevent unauthorized access. Description SCP-728 appears to be a standard shipping container, 12.19 meters by 2.44 meters by 2.90 meters. The exterior is painted red and shows some signs of weathering. Markings and numbers on the exterior are consistent with the system used by However, no such designation has ever been assigned to one of their containers. Analysis of the material used in constructing the container has found it to be made from terrestrial metals, though not in any combination usually associated with the construction of shipping containers. The interior space is consistent with that of a standard shipping container, with the exception that it is constantly at a comfortable temperature and light level for human occupation, despite no methods of heat regulation or lighting being present. When the doors are closed, the interior space experiences the flow of time differently from the outside world. This difference is neither consistent nor predictable, with the flow of time capable of both speeding up and slowing down, and in some cases, apparently reversing. Any equipment which could be used to record the flow of time, such as stopwatches, will function normally within the container. However, upon opening the doors, such devices will suffer a catastrophic failure and completely cease to function, with all data being erased. This extends to all data recorded while the doors were closed, and so far, no medium has been found which can resist this effect, save for pen and paper. For this reason, the only reliable method to record the passage of time within SCP-728 is through the use of a human observer. SCP-728 is as vulnerable to damage as any object made from However, perforating the container causes the primary effect to no longer function. Any damage inflicted upon SCP-728 appears to undo itself after a random amount of time, possibly as a side effect of SCP-728's ability. Experimentation Log Experiments consisted of sealing a person or persons within SCP-728, measuring how much time passed in the outside world, and comparing this to the subject's experience, measured with a standard watch. Date 06-07-2000 Researcher Dr. Subject D-7466 Time elapsed 5 minutes Subject's experience, two hours. Date, 06-07-2000. Researcher, Dr. Subject, D-7466. Time elapsed, one hour. Subject's experience, one minute, 30 seconds. Date, 06-07-2000. Researcher, Dr. Subject, D-7466. Time elapsed, one hour. Subject's experience, N-A. Researcher's note. Subject's body was found in a sitting position against the rear wall of SCP-728, apparently mummified. Tests dated the body as approximately years old. Subject's hands were severely damaged with multiple fractures and lacerations. Subject's right leg was broken. An organic compound was found on the doors of SCP-728, which was identified as Date 06-07-2000 Researcher Dr. Subject D-9558 Time elapsed One hour Subject's experience N.A. Researcher's note. When SCP-728 was opened, subject was no longer present. Testing suspended for today. Date. 06-10-2000. Researcher. Doctor. Subject. D-9558. 
Time elapsed. 66 hours. Subject's experience. N.A. Researchers note. When questioned as to how much time had passed, subject was adamant we'd never closed the doors. Date. 0610 2000 Researcher Dr. Subjects D9558 D8627 D4513 Time elapsed 1 hour Subjects experience NA Researchers note Subjects were interred with an SCP-728 with enough rations to last all three men five years, as well as a supply of notebooks and pens. Subjects were instructed to keep a record of their experiences while inside. When the container was opened, all three were found dead. Subjects D-9558 and D-4513 had both suffered severe beatings and apparently died from their injuries. Evidence suggests that their bodies had been disemboweled and subjected to acts of Subject D-8627 had died from disembowelment, apparently self-inflicted. The logs were apparently kept as specified for years, before slowly degrading into unintelligible ranting. Similar writings were found on the walls of SCP-728, written in the blood and feces of all three subjects. Although fingerprinting identified that D-8627 was the only writer, analysis of the feces found that, in all three cases, it was most likely taken directly from Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-727, Hephaestus' Forge, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.